Hi and welcome to the next section of this course. In this section we are going to get started with our object oriented programming in Dart. So what are the topics that we will cover in this section? Well firstly we will check out how to create class and also objects. Then we are going to check out what are instance variables or field variables, how to define functions in a class, what are constructors and what are the various types of constructors such as default constructor, parameterized constructor, named constructor and at last the constant constructor. So we are going to cover all of these topics with the help of three video. In the first video we will check out what are classes and objects. In the second video we are going to work with constructors and in the last video that is video 3 for the beginners we are going to summarize everything such as what is the class, what is the objects, how to define them and what are the various terminologies associated with class and objects in Dart. And we are going to summarize everything with the help of great visuals. So make sure you must watch the third video as well, which will clarify whatever we have learned in this section. So firstly, let us start with our first video of defining class and objects. So head back to your editor. Now here, I would like to give you a very simple task. Define the properties and the behavior of a student. So what comes to your mind when you think of a student? For the properties, I think a student has a valid roll number or the ID. So I will define int ID. And yes, of course, a student has a valid name as well. So string name. And what about the behavior of a student? Well, a student can read and write as well. And of course, he can sleep. Well, those are basically the actions. So let us define the functions for them. For example, void read or study. That would make more sense. And also a student can sleep. Well, looking at this, we can say that we have defined some properties and also the function or the behavior of a student. Well, don't you think all of these properties and behavior are applicable for all the students? Of course, yes. So here comes class into picture. We can generalize all of these code for each and every student that we see in school or any colleges. So for that, we can define class. To define a class, the syntax is use class space student. Well, you can create class out of anything that you see in your day to day life such as class car, class school, class country and so on. And then use the curly bracket open and then end it here. Perfect. Now give some tab or indentation. Perfect. So within our class of student, we have all of these properties and all of these behavior. Now how to create objects out of these classes? So here within our main function, we can use our variable such as student1 equal to now to create an object in Dart, we can either use new student like this or we can actually omit this new keyword which is optional in Dart. Well in Java, new was mandatory but in Dart, new is optional. And now how to access this ID, name or these methods. So for that we have again some syntax such as the object name use dot and then use id like this. Perfect. Even you can use name here or you can use functions name here study. So let us write some print statement here and print out the value of the id and the name. And then end the statement with the help of semicolon and run our application. Now in the output we have got null and null. Now let me talk about it why we are getting here null and null. Now whenever you declare a class and whenever you declare these properties, these properties are actually known as the instance variable or the field variable. So here let me write the comment statement for you. And here of course this name is also the instance or the field variable. And by default these properties has the default value of null. And here as well. So that's why when we were accessing it we were getting the value of null and null. Now you can actually change it. 
by default you can assign it some value for example int id by default all student will have the id of minus one right if you launch the application right now then you will get in the output minus one as a default value and the null well these values make no sense so here we can assign some valid id and also valid name for each of the student that we created such as student1 dot id let us assign his some valid id of 23 and then student1 dot name equal to let's call him peter perfect so now our student has some id and also some name launch the application so all the default values that we saw were overridden or replaced by the new values of 23 and Peter. Perfect. Now similar to these properties, we can also call these functions such as study and sleep. And here within these methods, we can write our own code. Let us write some our own custom code. And here as well, let us write our code. So here I have written this dot name is now studying. Now this keyword refers to the current instance of this object such as this object dot name. And here as well this dot name refers to this name of this particular student, right? Let us now launch our application. And yes, I just forgot to call these functions. So for that down below here, we can actually call it anytime such as student one dot study and also student one dot sleep launch the application and there we go peter is now studying and peter is now sleeping perfect we have got our output now similar to peter you can use the same class and create as many objects you want to for example i will now create one more object of student 2 by using the same syntax but this time i am just going to define the different property of student 2 And this student will also study and sleep. Perfect. Let us now launch our application. And there we go. We have got Sam is now studying and Sam is now sleeping. And similarly, you can print out these two values as well, such as ID and name by using the same print statement. Let us copy it and paste it somewhere here. And then change student one to launch the application and there we go 45 and Sam is the ID and the name respectively perfect so in the end let us summarize our video so within our class whatever properties that we defined are actually known as the instance variable or the field variable whose default value is null now here our default value is minus one so instead of null let us use minus one perfect and also we can define our own functions like we have done here and using this class, you can create as many objects you want to. For example, here this student is actually one object. And the variable that we have defined here, such as student1, is known as the reference variable. Well, I will discuss about all of these things in my upcoming videos as well, when we will summarize our class and objects concept. But right now, just remember it. Similarly, here as well, we have created one object and here the student2 is again our reference variable that looks great so that's all for this video now in the next video we are going to work with constructors in dart